Hey guys, I've done 25 here, and this is me going to be doing uh, my One Piece manga chapter review 652. And before I get to my review, I'd like to uh, mention that I've been getting a lot of comments saying uh, that my videos lately have not gotten so dim, not, not enough light. So I uh, went down here downstairs, and as you guys can see, y'all think this is much lighter? Um, have a comment and tell me what y'all think. Like, let me know. Uh, okay, so far ado, here we go. Here's the review. Um, first, we started with Jim Bay getting that to discussion. It was pretty much about Big Mama and um, pretty much um, Jim Bay taking full responsibility of what's been going on lately and so on. And then uh, King Natu is like, you know, if, if I have a Big Mama's flag is lost. And um, I got like another uh, flag for you, which that's kind of like Luffy's, you know, that's Luffy's higher flag. So we get into where the uh, Mr. The Right comes, and he's like, you know, uh, there's something I tell you, like he was so, like, uh, tense, saying that uh, you need to retrieve the stolen treasure with the straw hats because, you know, there's a bomb inside. Because I think it has to do with this um, Temet Avako, I think that's what pronounced it right. And somehow somebody 10 years ago um, put uh, opened it and exploded uh, so uh, the minister right fixed it and he put in well not well he didn't put in bonds I mean, he fixed it but whoever opens it um, it will it will explode uh, with all the bombs inside so that was from the punishment I guess from the person that was responsible for that incident but uh, anyway um, the straw hats are now um, in the palace like one of scars told the Mr. Right that strides or her um, in the palace, and then we get the next scene, and this funny scene that um, Nami, King Neptune, and Mr. Right, Minister of the Right was like, "What you gave the big church to Big Mama?" <laughs> I mean, I was sorry, Big Mom, and you know everybody was so like, like so shocked, and it was like overwhelming because this is this is like one of the one of the uh, four emperors we're talking about here, so. Uh, he's like, yeah, Luffy's like, yeah, well, um, I did that because, you know, I had no can we had no candy in the factory, and, um, uh, pretty much, um, the rally was going to get destroyed, and so on. And then Nami, you know, was kind of, like, faking herself, <laughs> saying, like, um, well, Luffy, you know, you're a man now, you, you want to fight, and then she hits him, and hits Zoro and Sanji, and says, why did you do, why did you give her the treasure? All the treasure and stuff like that was like hilarious, and the uh, other guys like Chopper, Usopp, Frankie, and Brooke and Robin were smiling. Uh, well, Robin was smiling, and they was all shocked. He's like, "Are you worried about that?" Because she's still worried about the treasure, but not the uh, bigger threat. But anyway, and Luffy goes, "Let's go to the new world," <laughs> and he's like, "To <"D> die." <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what's going on with these comic scenes now. <laughs> these mangas. <laughs> I mean. It's good to have them once in a while, you know. Um, then it shifts off to the candy, somewhere in the candy uh, factory. Uh, we see Karib, uh, Karibu, I, think I believe his name is. Um, he's wondering, like, you know, where's the treasure? You know, it's stolen. <laughs> he thinks, like, someone stole his treasure. And then he looks around and sees the two guys that were Big Mama's crew. Um, and he's really completely clueless as usually he's talking about you know if I get the princess I, I'll be more to you know who so he's really complete about the situation um he goes there and tries to battle Pecon Pecon what's his name Peckham no Peckham and pretty much uh it is weird he had like a missile uh machine gun onto his like stomach like it came out of his stomach and then he said gaggling gun I was like I was like, wait a minute, that's Luffy's move, isn't it? Because, you know, the gaggling gun, Luffy does, you know, the boom, 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 uh, multiple uh, punches. But anyway, um, after that, it's um, Pecan turned like a turtle. And I was like, like, what? Is he a Zoan type or something? Like, I don't know what that was about. And then um, he punches um, Karibu um, uh, see, so easily. And he flies out, you know, I guess he's knocked out. And when, in the bottom, like under his name, we see him having a 300, what was it, a 330 million um, berry bounty. And I was like, 
whoa, really? I mean, this is, like, I guess he's, like, the second, like, no, not second mate, but the first mate, I guess, of the big, uh, big Mom crew. So, I was, I'm kind of imagining what's the Big Mom's, um, down. I mean, it must be huge. But anyway, um, first, the, uh, other guy from, um, the tall dude from the, uh, Big Mom's crew, he said, you know, let's time, let's go. And so, so they leave. And then, here's the best scene, like, like the most surprising scene or panel of the chapter, in my opinion. Uh, somewhere in the New World, in the Red Line, uh, there's pretty much uh, mar pirates are, um, attacking the Marines. And then we see um, uh, the Saigi. I see her, and she has like uh, she has a sword, but she easily, amazingly, um, hold on, hold her sword onto the cannonball and swung it back down to the uh, other side. And I was like, whoa, Tsusagi has gotten so strong. I mean, I don't know how strong she's gotten. I mean, this, that could be probably a fracture of her power. I'm not entirely sure, but I I, uh, I can easily say after seeing that she got stronger. Um, and then, you know, we got all these uh, other Marine guys and shit falling for her. You know, it's kind of um, ridiculous at, there, at that point. Um, then we see Smoker. And um, and I just got to say, man, it, it was surprising. He's vice admiral now. Um, we see these pirates have been captured. That was in the Fishman Islands some time back when the whole incident. And pretty much the, the guys like, um, you know, the whole pirates did this to us. You know, stabbed us. You know, did things to make us do this. And then um, he said, "I'll tell you, the, the captain." Out of the three um, pirates, he's like, I'll tell, I'll tell you um, who's, the, who's the pirates that saved us from that threat. And then Smoker's like, oh, I know who it is. It's the Straw Hat Luffy. And, oh, and not Straw Hat Luffy. He says, it's the Straw Hat Pirates. So that's the end of the chapter. Um, I have to say, in my opinion's chapter, it went from, like, uh, pretty, like, build up. What I mean by that is, like, it started out, like discussion, nice and smooth, you know, um, nothing too big. But then as the chapter progressed, it went like information that uh, we knew. Well, actually, we're beginning to know now in this chapter. So that's why I like about this chapter. It was a great chapter. Comment, um, subscribe. We we got guys think about this chapter as such. So um, oh, here's my plans. Um, I'm going to be doing a Naruto review tomorrow, and after that, I'm going to be doing a video about the future plans on, of um, my videos, of what y'all guys think, but don't worry about that, um, it'll be all explained in that video when that time comes, I think it'll be the day or right after the Naruto review, so that being said, this is Outdoor 10.5, catch y'all guys later, peace.